Welcome to DogBeautyTreats.com. Hi, my name is Lori Pacciano, and this is Texas. And today, we're going to teach you how to groom your dogs with food. I owned one of the first dog grooming spas in the country that used food to make all of our recipes. So today I've invited Sadie Whip, who's an expert in vitality and health, and she's going to help us make an oatmeal cookie bath. I have been so excited that you invited me to do this because I think it's a brilliant idea and the thing with the oatmeal cookie bath, when Lori told me about this, her dog has, um, he's a French bulldog and he gets some skin conditions and the fact that she's treating him with natural foods is just brilliant so I'm very excited. And oats, we're going to be using, we love the uh, 365 brand from Whole Foods, they're organic rolled oats, it's a really simple recipe. So oats have a sugar called a polysaccharide that actually puts like a coating on your dog's skin that holds in moisture. And it's also got qualities that are anti-inflammatory and antihistamine. So if your dog has seasonal allergies or gets itchy or gets hives or anything like that, the oats are a really, really wonderful remedy. So hopefully you've got a Vitamix. We love this blender because it breaks it down into little tiny, it'll actually liquefy the oats. So you can dump it right down your drain. You don't have to worry. You're not gonna get chunks on your dog. It's gonna be perfect. So you wanna add about a cup or two of oats. It depends on the size of your dog. We're just gonna throw that in. And then we use coconut milk. And the wonderful thing about this, you can get it from a can or you can get the kind that comes in a carton. Either way is fine. Coconut is anti-inflammatory, it's antimicrobial, it's antibacterial, so it's gonna deal with anything that might be irritating your dog's fur, but it's the fats in it that are also really good, so this is super moisturizing. You wanna add about a cup, ooh, a cup or two, again, depending on the, the, the size Oh, look, and we're not eating dog. it, we're putting it on the dog, so you don't really have to worry about that. And if you do get the can, there's a big fat layer on top, so be careful that you don't get it all splitchy. Now we're gonna add just a tiny bit of water so that this blends more easily. And we're gonna stick our lid on. Now whenever you're using a Vitamix, you always wanna start on a, at a lower setting. And you just go ahead and turn it on and then slowly turn it up. And then all the way. And then high. <laughs> what is that? You want a little bit of that? Voila, and one of the great things about this is that the Vitamix, the longer you leave it on, the warmer it's going to get because it spins so fast. So it's just a nice milky, uh, milky consistency. And then you can go ahead and just pour this right on your dog. Whenever you give your dog a bath, always put it on a dry coat. Don't ever get your dog wet first, especially with natural ingredients because the oils and everything in here will break down the dirt and stuff that's in your dog, but if you get them wet first, it won't do that. So you just wanna pour it on them naturally and then let them soak. Aw, we love him. I just And we'll go ahead and take him over to the sink and give him a bath. I, wa I wanted to add one thing oh, though. Yeah. One of, if you notice, Texas is licking all of this up and that's one of the things that I love about these ingredients because yes. not only are they so rich in yep. vitamins and oils, but you know, when you give your dogs a bath, like a lot of times, a lot of dogs don't like baths. And if you think about it, they're so sensitive, their awareness of scent. So if you think about, um, a lot of the, the shampoos that are available for dogs, a lot of them have some kind of harsh chemicals in them and the dogs recognize that even more greatly than we would. So you're putting them in this tub with this really uncomfortable smell. And so the great thing about bathing your dogs with food is they love the taste of food and they love the smell of food. Like when you're in the kitchen, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter if you're even making something that they like, like they still come. And so it's gonna be a much more nurturing experience for your pet because you're basically gonna be bathing them in all these really great natural ingredients, mm -hmm. but it's, it's gonna be something that's kind of fun for them Absolutely. too. And if they wanna lick the water, yeah. it's just fine. Welcome to DogBeautyTreats.com. Hi, my name is Lori Pacciano, and this is Texas. And today, we're going to teach you how to groom your dogs with food. I owned one of the first dog grooming spas in the country that used food to make all of our recipes. So today, I've invited Sadie Whip, who's an expert in vitality and health. 